Okay. So now after vesicular mechanism, vesicular trafficking, now let's talk about the lysosome. Okay. So in general, we know what lysosomes are. So they are the membrane enclosed organisms which will contain your acid hydrolases. So just, uh, you know, like in the previous lecture also, we said like the pH of your lysosome is less, uh, right? It is around 3 to 5, whereas the pH of your cytoplasm is around uh, 7. Okay. So the if these lysosomal proteins or lysosomal enzymes are present in the cytoplasm, they are not active, right? They're inactive. Otherwise, what will happen? They will start degrading the material which is present in the cytoplasm. If it is like proteases or, you know, uh, hydrolases. So all these enzymes can start degrading the other proteins. So since it is present in the neutral pH, they are inactive. Okay. Now they only get active once they enter the lysosomal lumen. Okay, so now lysosome function as the digestive system of the cell serving both to degrade the material taken up from the outside of the cell and to digest the components of the cell itself sometimes. Now, sometimes it is digesting its own components. For example, mitochondria, ho gaya, chloroplast. Ho gaya. So that becomes the part of your autophagy. Okay, and autophagy is also known as PCD2, program cell that 2, where apoptosis is known as PCD1. Please do remember, okay. Now, the lysosomal acid hydrolases, so they contain about 60 different uh, degradative enzymes, which is meant to degrade or hydrolyze proteins, DNA, RNA, polysaccharides, okay? Now, in this case, if a mutation ho gaya, that will result in the genetic disorder known as lysosomal storage disease. So, this one is important, okay? So, most of these diseases, it will result in the deficiency of your lysosomal uh, enzymes. But uh, there is another chart where you can see there are many actually, okay? So, Gaucher disease, this is the co common of all the disorders which results in the mutation of the gene which is encoding a lysosomal enzyme, okay? Required for glycolipids breakdown. So, if this enzyme is not there or mutation is there, it results to Gaucher disease. Now, coming to the eye cell disease. Eye cell disease is because the tag, the mano 6 phosphate tag is missing from the enzymes because of which these lysosomal enzymes are not uh, getting targeted to the lysosome. Okay. And hence the lysosomal enzymes are not there, which result finally in the, which results in the uh, accumulation of the uh, products and which is not getting degraded. Okay. Yeah, so this is that uh, uh, flow diagram which I was talking about. So here, all the enzymes are mentioned. Okay, you have to remember this. How do you do it? It's really on you guys because you can ask anything. And all these have come once in the exam. So if your gangliocyte GM2 is not having the enzyme hexosaminidase A, then you don't get GM3 and it causes Tay-Sachs disease. Okay. Now, Gaucher, as we already mentioned, it is your glucocerebrosidase enzymes deficiency. Okay. Then from ceramide, if you're not getting to the glucocerebroside, it is because of your alpha galactosidase A enzyme. It is known as Fabry disease. Then Spingomyelin, you're not able to, you know, degrade into the ceramide. You know that ceramide, when we add choline, you get spingomyelin, milte, right? Now, spingomyelin, you're not able to degrade because of which so much of spingomyelin is getting accumulated, right? That is because of the enzyme spingomyelinase is deficient. It leads to the disorder, Neiman pick disorder, okay? Same way, galactocerebroside is there. Now, if suppose... Galactocerebrosidase enzyme is non-functioning, then it re results into Krabbe disease. Now, sulfatides are there, which is not getting uh, converted uh, because galactocerebroside. Then it is your aryl sulfatase A enzyme, which results in the metachromatic leukodystrophy. Okay? This is flow chart ki diya hai so that it becomes easy to remember. Har ek cheez ko degrade karke ceramide banana hai. Itna aap samaj jau. ठीक है, so you know ceramide से spingomyelin बनता है, ceramide से ही हमारे ये ganglioside और glucocerebrosides, you know glycolipids बनते हैं. So just understand that everything needs to degrade and get back to the ceramide, the raw material of your phospholipids and the spingomyelin synthesis. 
So when these enzymes are not functioning, that results into the, these particular name of the lysosomal storage disorder. Yeah. Can you do it, guys? Yaad hoga? Yaad karna padega. There is no option. Okay. Yeah. So I'll go ahead now. Now, so how uh, the lysosomes are making their pH less? Okay. Okay. So as I was saying, like how this uh, lysosome is maintaining is less pH. Okay. So if you remember, guys, like when we started with the plasma membrane and the type of the transporters, we do talked about like we type uh, ATPases, F type APases, P type ATPases, right? So this is the V type ATPases. So this is your H plus ATPases. So here what happens against the concentration gradient, okay, with the help of the ATP, the H plus ions are being taken inside. And that's how higher the concentration of H plus lower the pH. Okay. So you just have to remember that this is your V plus V type H plus ATPases, which is present on the lysosomal membrane, which is making sure that against the concentration gradient, all those H plus ions are taken inside. So the pH becomes less. And the moment uh, the vesicle which is meant for the lysosome they come and get fuses over here okay what will happen those inactive enzymes will become then active okay now this active enzymes if suppose there are certain components which needs to be degraded jo apka, uh, bahar se aara, endocytos aara hai, so they go and get fused with the lysosome okay so that becomes your phagosome right phagocytosis hota hai. it goes and fuses with the lysosome for the degradation and becomes phagosome Correct. Now, suppose uh, your one of your organelle is not functioning properly, let us say mitochondria. So that will be wrapped around uh, by the ER membrane. So guys, here you have to understand one thing. Uh, do I have the image? Okay, this is how the endocytosis and the lysosome formation is, okay? Uh, we can come back over here later. Let me talk about the autophagy. So in the autophagy, if you see, Lysosome is there. Let's say this mitochondria is not functioning properly. Okay. First, before it fuses with the lysosome, it needs to get wrapped by the ER membrane. Now, can anyone tell me why it is getting wrapped by the ER membrane? It does also have its membrane. Why can't it go and fuses directly with the lysosome? Is my question clear, Shruti? Question is clear. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Always we say these plasma membrane, organal ka jo bhi membrane hai, this cell membrane, they have got the similar composition of phospholipids. Then why can't mitochondria go directly and fuses with the lysosome? It's because the mitochondria and chloroplast, if you remember, they are the double membrane system, right? So total of four membrane will be present. Outer ka, outer inner, inner membrane ka, outer inner, correct? So they get wrapped by the ER. Now this ER membrane is similar to your lysosomal membrane. Because lysosome is made ER membrane. Se hi bana hai. So it becomes easy for ER to wrap all the unwanted components which is meant for the degradation so that it get fuses with the lysosome. Okay? And the phospholipids which is present on the outer membrane of chloroplast and mitochondria varies because of its nature. So if you see later, we'll talk about that. So the phospholipids which is present on the mitochondria is little different as present on the, uh, the other membranes. We'll come to that in the next session when we'll talk about the mitochondria. Okay, so the phospholipids are different as compared to the other membranes of ER, Golgi, or lysosomes. So now what will happen? Lysosome ho gaya, aapka uh, mitochondria a gaya. It is like autophagosome, right? Because it itself is digesting its own component. Then it fuses to become the phagolysosome. And eventually it is degraded and all the amino acids, proteins, DNA, RNA, everything is broken down into their simpler components, released into the cytoplasm for the recycle. Okay, so I hope this is clear. Now let's uh, go back to the 
uh, lysosome formation like how lysosomes are formed so from here you can see er hai right er se vesicles bana or sorry er se aapka golgi mein gaya golgi se you know you do remember that those amino uh, 6 phosphate and amino 6 phosphate receptor is there which is carrying all those acid hydrolysis correct now they go and what happens is that here from here where acid hydrolysis are there they go and bind to the uh, endosome theek hai ab endosome kahan se aa raha hai aapka endosome is coming after the endocytosis okay so these endocytosis will be having all these other membrane proteins and those uh, cargo proteins are there correct so the receptors will be taken back and these components will be present तो दिस एंडोजोम वेन योर एसिड हाइड्रोलाइसिस वाला वेसिकल फ्यूज होता है इट रिजल्ट्स इन द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ द लाइसोसोम डिड यू गेट इट मैम कैन यू रिपीट ओके ओके आई विल गो वन बाय वन सो I'll divide in three sections. Okay, so this is clear. Like from ER, the proteins are synthesized. It goes to the Golgi, and in the Golgi, it gets modified, having the amino six phosphate ka tag. ठीक है? So all the proteins which is meant for the lysosome, they will they let us say those are the acid hydrolysis, having the amino six phosphate ka tag bound to the amino six phosphate receptor. Okay, this is first part. So the vesicle carrying the acid hydrolysis, which is meant for the lysosome, is ready. Now. Here already certain receptors are there. Okay, उसका क्या काम है? To go outside and fetch the cargo. Okay, the vesicles or not the vesicles, sorry, to fetch the molecules or the components which is meant for the degradation. Correct. So those goes and binds to these receptor. These receptor will endocytose. This is endocytic vesicle. Correct. Now what happens? Eventually they keep on adding. ये एक नहीं होंगे ऐसे बहुत सारे होंगे. They will come together. The receptors will get recycled so that it can go and fetch new cargo proteins. Okay. Now when these particular proteins are there, this needs to be digested, right? For further use. Cell को nutrition चाहिए. वो कैसे करेगा? Once the acid hydrolysis containing vesicle fuses to that endosome okay this is your matured one then the fusion of your late endosome with the acid hydrolysis results in the formation of lysosome ab ye kya karega jo bhi acid hydrolysis aur jo proteases rahenge wo jo bhi components lekar aaye hain usko degrade karenge aur apne cellular functions ke liye release karenge then again these receptors will go Uh, will go outside. They will express outside. They will bring the cargo again inside, and इस तरह से आपका endosome बनेगा, lysosome में digest होगा. Now it is clear. Uh, Ma'am, there is one question. Hmm. So uh, lysosome का pH is even more less is because of this acid hydrolysis or no no no. लाइसोसोम का पीएच इज लेस बिकॉज ऑफ द एच प्लस ए टी पी एस प्रेजेंट ओके इसका काम है टू टेक ऑल दो एच प्लस फ्रॉम द साइटोप्लाजम इन साइड इट सिंस लेस पी एच मेक्स योर एसिड हाइड्रोलिस इज एक्टिव वो किस लिए वाई दे हैव अरेज लाइक दिस वाई द नेचर हैज यू नो मेड दीज अरेजमेंट बिकॉज Just imagine on the way accident हो गया. What happens? The cargo जो है जो सारा आपका spill over हो जाएगा बाहर ही गिरेगा, right? And if just imagine those acids are getting spill over everything. Acid के सामने कुछ भी आएगा तो it is gonna damage those also. Same way if acid hydrolysis were active at the neutral pH. और ये वेसिकल आपका टूट गया बाय मिस्टेक बिकॉज़ ऑफ़ सर्टेन एक्सीडेंट्स हैपेंड ओके सो एसिड हाइड्रोलिसिस विल कम इन कांटेक्ट विद द प्रोटीन्स व्हिच इज प्रेजेंट इन द साइटोप्लाज्म डूइंग देयर ओन फंक्शन करेक्ट सो वेयर एवर दिस एसिड हाइड्रोलिसिस और अदर प्रोटीजेस विल कम दे विल स्टार्ट डिग्रेडिंग ऑल दिस व्हिच आई डोंट वांट टू हैपन राइट सो नेचर हैज सिलेक्टेड दीस एसिड हाइड्रोलिसिस टू बी एक्टिव ओनली एट लो पीएच so neutral ph mein agar by chance accident hota bhi hai so they are just meant for the degradation then 
क्योंकि उसका कुछ काम नहीं है वहां पे अदरवाइज इफ दे आर रीचिंग देर टारगेट ऑर्गेनल करेक्टली so inside where the ph is less they will get active and they start degrading all those components jo hum bahar se lekar aaye hain khana to digest okay huh? just imagine as if you know you eat something your acids your enzymes are all digestive enzymes are already present in your stomach right so jab bhook lagti hai that gurgling sound comes that is nothing just the increase sorry decrease in the ph which is making your enzymes active now you start eating something you feel relaxed in the same way a cell is also bringing something from outside to eat to lysosome kya ho gaya uska digestive system ho gaya jahan pe usne dala enzymes active ho gaye and they started getting all those uh, resources amino acids dna rna whatever it is present jo bhi wo bahar se khana laya hai theek hai This is how they get their DNTPs. नहीं तो ये नया DNTPs, नया आरएनए, नया amino acids कहाँ से आएगा? To synthesize new new things, right? They need resources. So this is how they get their uh, resources from outside. Now it's clear. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Okay, so that's all, guys. Uh, so that means that means at late endosome level, they are zymogen form, and only after they get yes. into lysosome, that's when they become active. Yes, yes, yes. But don't use this di zymogen in ye sab because those are meant for the stomach uh, enzymes. Okay? okay. Yeah, but the concept is that only. Good. Anything else? So I'll be stopping here, and. Uh, One second. Let me stop the recording.